What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you another update on the Alliance of American Football League. We're about a week away from kickoff and I am pumped and ready to go. But with that said guys, if you're not already, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Main thing though, turn the bell notification on. The subscribe button doesn't really do anything without that bell notification. Turning the bell on, that lets you know when my next video comes out so you can tune in. And last, guys, be sure and hit that thumbs up. That way, you, I, that way I know you enjoy this content and I'll keep coming out with more. With that said, let's get into it. All right, guys, so the first new announcement is the Alliance has partnered with Tops, Tops Trading Cards. So there will be trading cards for this league, much like the USFL and XFL back in the day. Tops is going to jump on board and produce trading cards. Um, I'm gonna throw a couple of those pictures up on the screen right now. So the first one up, this is Malachi Jones, wide receiver for the Atlanta Legends. Next up, I've got a couple of just renditions of what some of the cards are, are supposed to look like. No players in them yet, but it just kind of gives you a rough idea of what those silhouettes of the players would look like. And then last, just some signed cards by Trevor Knight from the Arizona Hot Shots. So I've seen out on Twitter a couple of players that have actually signed cards. Uh, it looks like these signed cards are actually going to end up in the packages, which the cards will launch the first week of the league through Tops. Now they'll hit retail stores a little bit later. Uh, it looks like March 22nd, and that'll be Target and Walmart that will carry those up front. Excuse me. Each box will have 24 packs of cards with 10 cards in each. Uh, they'll range from $55 to $65 a box, but like I said, guys, you'll have a chance at getting autographed cards. It looks like, let me read here, <clears throat> excuse me, they're they promised 200 card, a 200 card set and have three autographed cards per box. So looking like you're at least going to have a chance at three autographed cards for every box that you purchase. With that said, jump in the comment section. Let me know. Are you going to be buying these cards? Do you think it's just a gimmick? Do you think they'll be worth something? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, I don't know if I'm going to jump on it right away. I'm not a huge card collector, um, but I may. Who knows? That brings me to my next point. So, if you haven't seen already, the jerseys were something that this league was... I won't say highly touted for, but a bunch of people, there was a lot of hype behind the uniforms, me, me included. I personally love the color schemes, love the way that everything looked. This week, they had their first scrimmage. All the teams were in San Antonio, kind of finalizing their 52-man roster. So each team scrimmaged all in San Antonio, and there were some images that have, that, that have surfaced from that that shows, I'm assuming, what their actual on-field uniforms will look like. So... I want to talk a little bit about those. Let me throw the first team up. The first team we're going to look at is the Arizona Hot Shots. I'm going to put that on the screen now. So, green, yellow, orange, really stayed to kind of what we've seen all along uh, leading up. Same thing with the logo on the side of the helmet. So, they kind of went the Pittsburgh Steelers route. They have the logo on the right hand side, numbers on the left hand side. No problem at all with this. Next up, they actually played the Birmingham Iron. This to me was, I know a lot of people have rated Birmingham's team or Birmingham's jerseys up pretty high um, as far as the rankings. Me personally, I thought that these jerseys turned out a little bland once I actually got to see them, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the screen now. So as you can see, it's kind of the, uh, I guess, Oakland Raiders of the league, so to speak. It's just black and silver, no logo on either side, kind of that flat, old school look, which nothing wrong with old school, don't get me wrong, but with all the other teams having these vibrant, bright colors, I really thought that Birmingham would step it up and at least have their logo on the side of the helmet or at least on the jersey somewhere. A little bit of a disappointment to me, but nonetheless, moving on. So next up from there, we had the Memphis Express and the Salt Lake City Stallions. So both of these teams, their jerseys probably were ranked highest above everybody else. Um, Memphis is red and blue with the airline jet on the side of their helmet. 
Really like that look, red, white, and blue, kind of a classic look. Really, really like the way they turned out. However, Salt Lakes was a total letdown. So in all of the uh, leading up images that you see, which I'm gonna go ahead and throw one of those up right now, the blues on there were very vibrant, bright, almost kind of like a, I guess, Carolina teal color. What they showed in the scrimmage was more of, a, I guess, a North Carolina baby blue look mixed in with a little bit of a, a darker blue. I don't know. The jersey, to me, it just kind of all washed itself out. I was really hoping for a lot more vibrant color, uh, especially with that blue. The teal blue I thought was going to pop and look really, really good. Instead, now it looks kind of, like I said, flat and bland. But anyway, moving on. So next up, we've got San Antonio Commanders in the Atlanta Legends. Again, the Commanders stuck with that maroon and red and, and uh, gray. I love the logo on the helmet. Uh, the Alamo, I think, looks really good. I'm not necessarily a fan now of the maroon socks, the two-tone with that. I really, again, I like the bright red. I kind of wish they would have stuck with just that bright red. But at any rate, they're still stuck with kind of what, what we've seen in the very get-go. Get um, Atlanta, same thing, purple and gold. Jerseys stayed the same from, from everything that I've seen leading up to this. So I don't have a problem with either one of these, these jerseys. And that brings me to my final two teams. So the last two teams were the Orlando Apollos and the San Diego Fleet. Um, again, the Apollos, bright orange with that dark blue, nice contrast, really like the way that it turned out. Uh, almost has that Virginia Cavalier orange and blue thing going on for it. Um, but I like the way that they turned out. The Fleet, I like the color scheme, the black, blackish gray with the yellow. Um, really liking the stripe down the center of the helmet. The only down thing, well, the only thing I have to say negative against the fleet is I really wish that yellow was brighter. I wish that it popped. It was, it almost comes off more of like a, a pastel yellow, so to speak. But with that said, guys, now we know what the jerseys are going to look like. Uh, still no word on the app yet. My guess is with that um, commercial that they're going to run during Super Bowl Sunday, that's probably when they're going to announce it. That's probably when they're going to release it. We're all going to be on there mad dashing, trying to download it. Probably going to crash. Probably have to wait a little bit longer to get it. Maybe even have to wait right up until that Friday night before kickoff on Saturday. But nonetheless, I have faith that they will get it out. I'm done rambling, guys. I can't thank you enough for all of your support. Be sure and check out my other videos on this league as well as the XFL, college football, really anything related to sports. I thank you guys. I love you. I'm out.